<laughs> so, word up, homies. Um, the camera's there, but everything else is there on the screen, so I'm trying to sit for a look so I can look into your right hand side to see if you've got two. A lot's happened in a lot. How long has it been? Sorry, it's like four in the morning. This is my first night off in a very long time. And this is going to be an RGB whispered ramble video. Let's bring RGB. <laughs> Essentially, I bought a ring light for lighting. It's got a CV and I thought I'd use it. <clears throat> so, where do we begin? Where do we start? So, I left my old job of 20 odd years back in October last year. And I'm no longer there. Now, after spending 21 years my old career, I spent about three months in the new one. Also retail. Oh my god. Uh, yawning ASMR. And then something happened there which got me into a new industry which has worked out very, very well for myself. So, let's make it a long one because you guys dig my shit. Otherwise you wouldn't be Uh, back at the beginning of February, I nuked my channel. Now, you know, my relationship with YouTube and alcohol and social life and yeah, 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 it's complicated. And YouTube had been stressing me out for, you know, I, I mentioned a number of times over the last 18 months, not enjoyed it, don't want to make it, making it because I feel like I had to, yada, yada. I left one retail job for another retail job. Now the one retail job I left was because reasons. Unsupported, unrecognized and stuff. Went to new retail job. Oh, hey you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I've been up for a long time. Went to new retail job as assistant to job I did, but didn't get paid for. New retail job was much less challenging, very boring. Myself and my new manager did not see eye to eye. I mentioned before, I'm a uh, fuck me, what am I? I'm bored of my own shit, apparently. <laughs> bored of my own content. Me and that manager, we didn't get along. We didn't. We did. We didn't bond very well. You know, normally I can get along with people and stuff, but something about that store and that company, I bonded, for, uh, the area manager interviewed me, not at me. The store itself, the manager ran that with a kind of a fear, and uh, I didn't do that. And uh, she was a nice person, don't get me wrong, of her own demons. And the people there were it's a new trigger. Yawning. The people there were all very yes ma'am, no ma'am. And my personality type is not quite like that. So I entered a new place and said, like, okay, you like a red ball. And uh, I'm very, do I'm a dominant personality, but not a dominant person. So I've got any, you know, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <clears throat> My second week of that job, I shaved my hair and I shaved my beard off completely. This is one. So, this is not the same beard I had in whatever last video you saw me. I completely just looked like an egg, and it was a 
stress reaction to a unfamiliar circumstance because you know I've been in the same job for the same company for 21 years you know and going from that to something new was scary but the something new I went to was so unfulfilling so slow slow boring. so I'm gonna I'm not gonna go what I did or the company I went for so I went from a shop that opened at 6 a.m., closed at 11 p.m., took about seven grand a day to a nine to five job. And that was it. That was it. I was assistant manager at this place. The money was slightly better than I was on at my last job without overtime. Salaried. And it was nine till, well, it was half eight till six. And I struggled. Like, for fuck's sake. Like, for three months. I was so tired. I was just always tired. I had two days off a week. I didn't work more than 42 hours a month, a week. I had an hour lunch break and I hated it. Like, oh my God. Like, when my mind doesn't want to be somewhere or is changing something, the calories I intake increase, the energy increases. Like, my head spazzes out and I am basically spaced out. I have to concentrate on everything for a long time when I'm stressed. <clears throat> and it took me ages there and it took me ages and ages and I just didn't click with my colleagues that were working for me or my manager and just you know just three months of uncomfortableness and I came a point and I lasted there Christmas and I hadn't slept so bad I'd never been so tired doing nine to eight thirty to six despite doing more hours longer hours at, at different hours you know with nothing at my last job and I hated it I just hated it and um they came to a point where my training was shit like it was just shit and um I got left alone to run the store for myself about two months in with my training being minimal like my training was how do you not know that and uh, the manager I had there was very, why don't you know this? And me, instead of just being going, because you haven't shown me, mate, with <laughs> my sarcasm and stuff like that, because you haven't seen me. And then she goes, have you not got this yet? And I'd be like, because I'm the worst, you shouldn't have fucking hired me, thinking I was joking, banter. Mm, no. So when the manager was off, the area manager came in and gave me a three month review. And the moment I knew that I was not built for this was when she went, <clears throat> okay, so the manager's been going through some health problems. All right, cool, I get that. Mental health problems, all right, man, I right, cool, I get that. We're gonna try and book in another manager to come and spend some time with you on Thursday after next your managers back in to show you what to do and I was like and I went all right cool and I left thinking okay mate man I get mental health you know I get mental health I mean people who are new to this channel and are new to my channel there is no mental health I get mental health but there's mental health and there's doing your job and you <laughs> Okay, mental health can affect your job, okay. But the moment I knew that this job wasn't going anywhere was your manager's back next week, so we're going to get someone else to come in and train you, even though she's in. And I went, okay. <clears throat> so my mate, Dave, who I hired a couple of years beforehand at my old job, had got a new job recent, uh, and left about six months ago. The old job that we both worked together. And I sent my message going, oh, mate, we got a sec we did our security in the UK. If you want to work security, you need a license. And we did our security license together. And my intention was to go into it and it didn't pan out. So I just had the license, but I hadn't used it. And I texted my message going, yo, you want the jobs going where you are? Kind of, you know, jokingly, seriously. And this was on like a Sunday night. <clears throat> and um, 
on the Monday, I reply going, yeah, I just spoken to my manager. Uh, come meet in Wednesday morning, soon and booed. I was like, okay. So, <laughs> the Friday is when I had that interview with my area manager who said he can book a manager. I thought, okay, this is shit. And it was a reactionary response rather than a serious response, you know, going, oh, someone might have a job. Okay. Let me know if you've got a job going. Okay. Come meet my right, boss. And I was like, and normally, you know, on the Monday, Tuesday, a few days after, I'll be like, no, I'm over exaggerating. And I thought, the Wednesday, I've gone, right, I'm going to go in. So I went in, I met my mate, and we met the boss. And uh, the boss, we had a quick conversation, and then we took a 10, 15 minute walk down to a different site where I signed up all my details and I signed a contract and stuff. So the job was, <laughs> it was a kind of interview slash induction because. My manager took, uh, my current manager took the word of my friend so seriously, he just took me on his word. And uh, so I had my notice. So after 21 years of retail, I stepped into security. So, something I'm naturally inked for. I'm in security now. Not going to say where I work. Uh, although, if you watch my TikTok, you would have guessed that. <laughs> Hashtag staircase karaoke. In case you're unsure. But, um, and I joined that, and I was unsure, like, it was 12 hour shifts, 4 and 4 off. Now, I'm used to, I've done 12 hour shifts, but 4 and 4 off. And this job is a mixture of security, health and safety, well, it's mostly health and safety, security, and cleaning. Okay. Didn't really know what to sign up for, so I did it. And the first two days, I'm going to say, in the first four days I did, four on, I did, so I didn't think I was a slacker, I averaged about 15,000 steps a day. Now, in four days, I did over 150,000 steps. I did off, like, between those four days, I averaged between 35,000 and 40,000 steps a day. It's not a big centre, but that's just what it's involved. It's just walking around, making your presence known and stuff. And like, I got to the second day, and I'm fat. And other fat people will know. But cheeks, yeah, you might hear this. Yeah, a little bit, but with cotton, cotton, my chub rub. Like, I got home on the second day and I went... This was a mistake, this was a mistake. And I jokingly said to my boss on the third day, I turned up, I'm like, hey, welcome back. And I was like, what's going on? They were like, five or six people before me or so had quit before the third day. I was like, all right, you're on back. I don't know, I understand how people can quit their job. I really don't. Like, who can turn up, apply for a job, go for two days? Go. I mean, I understand people going, this ain't for me. And then, you know, most places, if you're within probation, you have to give a couple of days or a week and you look for a new job. But going, not doing this anymore. Okay. So I turned up and I joked with my boss going, so, boss, you're in. I beg a man like me, how do you do it? And he went, Vaseline. So, that one joking conversation saved my entire career. In this, I'm not fucking joking, mate. Honestly, <laughs> I've used, I'd suffered chub rub even when I was 18, 19, and in shape. The problem is, is I'm a heavy sweater. I just always have been when I'm like 17 stone now. Even when I was 11, 12 stone, I was a heavy sweater. Goes down the back, down the butt crack, down the back crack, and then you get kind of, and it causes nappy rash you know what I mean and it saved my career <laughs> no because of that job it's crazy I don't call it Vaseline I call it Athlete and it's become a joke now I make myself known personality wise I just headbutt my way into you know uh, hierarchies and stuff and um, the job went well now 
the hours are long. The money for the hour, not fantastic. But the earning potential here is insane. So I've got along, I got along with everyone. Um, I impress people because my work ethic, so I can be a lazy prick, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to stuff at home, but my work ethic is, I have a very strong work ethic. Like I, I don't feel, if I'm sitting around doing nothing, I feel guilty because I don't feel like I should be getting paid. security there's a lot of time just walking around sitting around not getting paid so if other shit came up i was like fuck it i'll do it i don't care you know it kills the time i'll do it and um what was the weirdest for me it was going from manager where i was to the next job assistant manager where i was far over qualified to bottom rung like you know i started this job i was the very bottom you know, I agreed to it. You know, it got me out of retail and I was happy with that. I was like, probably won't stay here long. And then within three months, I got made a team leader uh, because my work ethic, my, you know, management experience and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm this team leader in security. And my job is, I average 60 hours, 65 hours a week. In my main job and I've got a second job that I do where I work the doors at a certain bar so that shads the bouncer um, concept idea we came up with however many years ago is real and so I work a lot and it was in my second week at this new job where the control thing came like, I'm like, YouTube was stressing me out. And, you know, it's weird. Like, for someone who makes videos as half assed and heartedly as I do, I took YouTube very seriously. I was like, oh, my God, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. And to me, it made sense to go, like, fuck it. It was, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. I was on my fourth 12-hour shift afterwards. Followed by the fifth, you know, six to six. It was 3 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. And I couldn't very really have to take control. So I was like, YouTube's pissing me off. Let, let's get rid of YouTube. So I deleted every single video. Every single bit. Which, looking back now, kind of, there's a bit of me who goes, oh, you fucking twat. Another bit of me goes, I felt so free. I felt just so free. I was like, there's part of me that this is meant to be a hobby. I'm meant to enjoy it. But I just felt so stressed because I was like, I should make some videos. I haven't made some videos. I should make some videos. I should do something for that. I thought I'd do something else instead. And um, yeah, I just felt, it felt freeing deleting it. And then I deleted the channel. But I've been doing this uh, as of next year, 10 years. And I was like, okay. I still chat to a few people and I was like, fuck it. You're like, a lot of the reasons I do what I do is I get like a lot of comments going, mate, this video really helped me and stuff. And I was like, I'm kind of proud of a lot of the stuff I've done. So I rebranded, re-edited, and obviously you can tell I've not stuck to a name again. I was a gay space coinist, or sleep whispers, or was drunk hair smart again at the moment, or whatever. That's not going to change. <clears throat> and I've uploaded a load of my old content. And I really think this is the first con new content I've made in... We're in just about hit July. June. I guess this is a return of the Mac. Here we go, return of the Mac. Here we go. Um, and I've actually missed making videos, which is crazy. But there we go. But you know, we all my borderline personality is also known as emotionally unstable personality disorder, and um, that's my own life. So, like, so this new job in security. 
I'm killing it. I'm a natural. Like, you know, I've made some good mates. I'm a team leader already. I've been put on, booked on courses and stuff to further me. I've proved myself in so many ways. I've got my second job while I'm working at the door. I'm bringing in more money. I'm bringing in almost 50% more per year than I was ordering in my last job. Like, literally, my entire debt, which I've done stupid stuff and got into the debt. <clears throat> at my last job, I was looking at five years, six years to pay it off, yeah? With APR. With this job, and my extra job on the side, I'm looking at 18 months. I reckon I could pay it off before I'm 40. It's fucking insane. And the hours are crazy, and that's why, I mean, I've, I think I've played my Xbox maybe six times since February. Including now I'm about to record a video with me playing some other game. But six months in February. Because I'm just always working, sleeping or... I think I have a wife or something else. Well, this is chick I live with. I can't speak much, but everything's just going great. Like, honestly, just great. And what surprises me most is... I'm still hitting the right amount of views, subscribers, and hourly views to stay within the um, YouTube monetary program. I'm still hitting an average of about 500 hour view per month. It's like, all right, fucking cool. Um, that's it. So, as for the future, uh, shit I've got planned is not a lot. Role plays, probably not. I've still got a lot of old videos to re-upload, which I will re-edit, like I've done. Rambles like this now, I've got a new setup, might do. Um, I'm not promising anything, to be honest. But, you know, I'm just still here, and there are some old videos coming back up, so. If there's no video you kind of want, I might still have. I've still got 300 gig bio videos updated, but I'm good. I've probably made up about 800 videos in the last 10 years. And I think I've got about 400. Most of my role plays and stuff. So. Let me know if there's anything you want. I can re-edit all. Let me know if there's any kind of edits you think going. Alright do all these videos together. Like you know I've done some videos together. Like blah 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 blah. There's one with Trilla Six here. Let me know. So. Um, still here. RGB. It's got to be a lot of keyboard videos. High keyboard. But, um, life is good. And I'm not used to that. So. Thank you for making it to the end of this video.